Hi everyone, it's Judith here from Gigi's Cool Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. So today I have like a little um, Coco and Reno project share, I guess. Um, now I've been seeing a lot of people playing around with these dies that have been um, that are in a kit, I guess, that you can get monthly. So I went and subscribed for the monthly kit um, to Coco and Reno just for the dies. So um, you do get a cute little, it comes in like a plastic uh, thing, but the plastic on the side is ripped, or at least it was on mine. But it comes with this cute little bag, Coco and Reno, with a little heart. So I just put the dies in here. Um, for those of you guys who haven't seen or don't know about it, um, I'm going to show you guys the dies real quick. And then I'll show you guys what I made with them. I just have three small embellishments that I made with them. So the first one is the envelope die. Looks like this. It makes a small envelope. The second one is this typewriter and it says hello. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Um, and the theme of this one, I think this is July's kit. Um, is like snail mail and happy mail and stuff. So obviously here's the snail mail one with the cute little heart in the middle. This is an envelope and it says happy. It's hard to read um, on the die, but when it comes out, it comes out pretty. So this is an envelope that says happy on top. There's a love you die. Super cute. There is a thank you die, and that is also very useful for um, making cards and tags for little gifts. There's um, another envelope, but it has like blooming flowers. Very cute. I love this one. And then we have two like stamp dies. Um, one's a deer and one has a flower on it. So let me see. I'll show you the deer first. Can you see that? There's the deer. It's like a little stamp that you would put on an envelope. And then this is the one with the flower. So that came in this month's kit. And I believe this is the July kit. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's monthly. I I'll have to figure that out. Um, if you're interested, just leave me a comment below and I'll definitely look into it for you. But I think it is a monthly subscription kit. And I think you always, um, well, I think you always get like a cloth bag and then some dyes. So um, now I'm going to show you what I made with it. So um, for my swap, I'm doing a huge summer swap. It started off as just something like um, where she picked three things and I picked three things and we trade the six things. Um, but we've just added, added, added. And a lot of the things that we've added are embellishments. So I was like, I'm going to make embellishments with these. So this, these are the embellishments, three, three of the embellishments that I'm sending her. So if they're like tags, I think this turned out so cute. You'll have to let me know what you think in the, in the description or in the comments below. So I didn't put Velcro dot or anything. I left it open and you'll see why. But there's the love you die. There's the stamp die. Sorry, there's something, there's like a glue on it. There we go. A stamp die with the flower. I used a white gel pen to add like tons of little dots on the back. I put the pom-pom trim on the bottom. Um, and then I have um, two punches. One to make these flowers, and I had the jemmy in the middle, and one to make the butterflies, and there's a jemmy in the middle. And when you open it up, like that's the that's the the envelope die. So the envelope die um is this big? It's tiny, but it's perfect for adding some embellishments. And inside, I put a little letter. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I thought it was such a cute idea. I don't know if other people have done that, but there's the the snail mail die. Um, I just thought this was so stinking cute. Um, so that was the first try. And I used a lot of the dies um, on that one. And then 
I decided that I was going to make another one because I was like, these are too cute. Like, I just love them. So this one I did um, with tool as the background. Like, I have the cardstock and then I have, like, the holographic polka dotted tool. Um, I have, again, the butterfly with the bling. Um, here's again a, a closer look at the stamp with the flower and there's the typewriter with the hello again I added the pom-pom trim I added a pom-pom for the closure on the envelope so they all have the envelopes with a little um, letter inside because the whole thing is like snail mail and um, this one the letter has the happy um, the envelope with the happy on it now I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these glue strings but um, you guys get the idea. So that was in that one. And my last one, um, I used the, um, the envelope with the flowers. And I did it in um, a glitter card stock, which normally for me does not cut out well um, with my Big Shot. My Big Shot is old. And whenever I have like... I'm trying to, I have dies and I'm trying to cut out glitter cardstock. It does not cut out well. This cut out well. And I was really pleased. So these are really good dies. Um, I did some of the gold leaf trim. I did these gold epoxy stickers and then a little jemmy for like where the hole is supposed to be. And then I used a butterfly for the closure on this one. And then inside on the letter on this one is the um, deer stamp. How cute. I just love these um, embellishments and I'm really happy with them and I hope my swap partner will be happy too. Hi Rita, if you're watching. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my um, little Coco and Reno um, haul slash uh, project share. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the, disc in the comment section below and let me know which one's your favorite. Or if you have any questions or anything like that, I'd be happy to answer. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. All right. Take care and crafty hugs, everyone. Bye-bye.